In this video, I'll show you how to replace this double socket with this nice chrome socket. The tools we're going to need to do this job are a voltage tester, a socket tester, a selection of electrical screwdrivers insulated to a thousand volts, a circuit breaker lock off clip and a little padlock for that clip. First thing we need to do is plug in the socket tester to make sure that this socket is wired up correctly. Now the three lights indicate that the socket is wired correctly. Here at the consumer unit we need to make it safe. So we need to identify which is the right MCB to turn off, which they should all be labelled up. So it's the left hand sockets. So I'll turn them off. But if there's any chance of anyone coming in and turning the power back on, you need to put one of these clips on it so no one can turn it back on. They just fit over the little clip, like that, and they just screw on. Now that can't be turned back on without taking that clip off. So now you want to put a little padlock on there. And take the key with you and keep it on you so no one can come and take it off and turn the power back on. Now that padlock stops that screwdriver going in there and taking that screw out to take the clip off. So we know that's safe now. As a final precaution, we put a sign on it. Just to let people know that we're working on the circuit and not to put it back on. So now that the lights have gone off on the socket tester, it indicates that the power has been turned off. But we can't rely on this alone. So we undo the retaining screws. Gently ease the socket forward. Now before we go any further, we need to definitely make sure that the power has been turned off. So that's why we get the voltage tester. And this one's got a self test function. So if I touch the two probes together, it tells me that it's working. So we go from the live into the neutral, okay, and then we go from the live into the earth, and then from neutral to earth. So that's telling me now that there's no electricity going to this socket. Now we just need to make sure that the tester is still working. So test the tester. And I'm happy that it is. So I'm happy that there's no electricity in them wires now. And it's safe to proceed. Inside the socket you'll have three different coloured wires. Brown is live, blue is neutral and green and yellow is earth. If you've got older wiring though, you may have a red live, a black neutral and an earth. So undo the terminal screws. So if you look on the back of the socket, you should see that little symbol means earth. And there's another one over there. 
and then you've got your neutral terminal and your live terminal so your brown or your red goes in the live your blue or your black goes in the neutral and your yellow and green goes in the air terminals Push the wires into the terminal. Make sure there's no copper showing. Tighten the terminal screw down. And just give it a little pull to make sure it's tight and won't come loose. Okay, so now gently ease the wires back in and push the front flush to the wall, making sure we haven't trapped any of the wires behind. Now we just need to put in the retaining screws. Make sure that it's level and tighten down the screws. Now we need to go back to the consumer unit and turn the power back on. Now we can remove the sign. We can remove the padlock. take the clip off. Now we can put the power back on. Now the final thing to do is to plug in the socket tester to check that it's working correctly. Three lights and the buzzing mean that everything's okay. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments for me or questions or even tips, leave them down below in the comment section. If you enjoy the channel, then please subscribe. We'll see you next time.